amendment offered by my friend from Pennsylvania, Mr. Perry, appropriately show, uh, titled the Show Up Amendment. I mean, isn't that the minimum standard? Show up, come to work, especially when you're on the federal dole paid by, paid by the taxpayer? This amendment would ensure that the staff at the FAA do what most Americans probably assume that they're already doing and actually go back to work. It requires the FAA to comply with the Show Up Act. Uh, the problem, as Mr. Perry has already mentioned, with these federal agencies, you ever try to get a passport recently or a visa recently, need help from a federal agency? The, the employees are not at work. The Show Up Act was already passed with bipartisan, bipartisan support earlier this Congress. And this common sense amendment requires agencies to return to the policies that were in place as of December of 2019, just three and a half years ago. It also stipulates that agencies may not arbitrarily expand telework policies unless the Office of Personnel Management deems that it would have a significantly positive impact on the agency's mission. It's hard to imagine how that would truly be the case. Removing the FAA's ability to perpetuate its current relaxed Telework policy simply puts the FAA on the same footing as its counterparts in the private sector and requires those federal employees to do what civilians they are purportedly there to serve are required to do, show up to work every day. The China virus has long dissipated and it's time for the FAA employees to resume their normal work day, their duties in the office, and it's ridiculous that we got to try to force this to happen. Let's give you some stats. An October 2022 survey by the OPM of 558,000 federal employees revealed that 20% never report to a physical office, while 46% come to the office some of the time. Unfortunately, unions like the American Federation of Government Employees, which should be illegal, by the way, for a government a union, but they're fighting to keep America's federal employees at home permanently. Another survey from the OPM found that 80% of managers in federal agencies report that they're managing a poorly performing staff. I yield the gentleman as much time as he will consume. That 80 percent of federal managers report that they are managing a poorly performing staff and it's nearly impossible to take actions like demoting or firing them thanks again to the government unions. This problem is, is even worse when you consider a May Federal News Network survey which showed that only 80 percent of federal employees are coming into work 8 percent every day. Mr. Speaker, what is it when there's an unfortunate incident that happens at FAA, FAA, we need these FAA employees on site, ready to respond, to do everything to, re, uh, to remediate the situation. My constituents go to work every day. Mr. Chairman, your constituents go to work every day. They don't want to pay the salaries for federal employees who don't have to show up to work. Again, it's hard to believe we have to have an amendment to require this, but this amendment should pass, and I hope all my colleagues will support it, and I yield back.